All right, guys, we are in for game one. And it actually looks like the size of the overlay is not going to be an issue. Uh, first sieve we're, we need to look at is Incas for Tato. And in the red, Melkor playing as Berbers. Both pretty interesting civilizations. I'm going to take a look at the maps here and go from there. Uh, here we have Tato. And his map is really, really bad. I'm going to chat off, but take a look at this. That main gold is in an awful position. He does have a wood line to the right-hand side if he needs to use it, which is pretty good. On the back, he has a wood line as well. But apart from that, it's going to be quite difficult for him, I think, with the gold. And, you know, Incas, they can't go scouts. So that's going to be difficult if he wants to. Of course, he can drush, but he might need that gold for any other attacks he wants to plan. Uh, Tato could go out with this eagle and try and lame. So we're going to take a look at Melkor's map now. And I'm going to toggle actually over to his point of view. So for him, he has a nice back wood line here. To the right, he has a wood line as well. On the back, notably, he has two stones and a little bit of uh, hill action there, which could be uh, some trouble. There's a little bit of hills there as well. But his gold's also not the best. He has his main gold way out here on the left-hand side. And that's quite far away from his TC. But the good thing is that he can always wall this off uh, in between these little choke points. Now, secondary gold's out here. Looks like he does have a forward bore, which he's going to have to be careful with. But apart from that, I would say that Melkor has a better map overall. Uh, just because of the gold position is not so far forward, not on that hill, like you will see from Tato. That's a, that's about it. That's all I'm going to focus on for now. Uh, I thought I heard a boar being attacked. It actually looks like that boar is still out there on the front, and Tato is getting dangerously close if you look at this eagle. Like he may be just scouting for his extra sheep. That boar is actually quite far away from him. He's going to need to spot that as well. But, but let's let's take a look here, guys. Uh, I will remind you ahead of time that there are some bugs. If you look at the top of the spectator overlay, it has Melkor as Goths, which is not the case. But because we have these these nice dashboards and overlays, and they're used to Age of Empires 2 and not including the African Kingdoms, they are quite buggy. So, you guys are talking about the overlay in the dashboard. I can always switch it up for game two, but I figured I'd try this out because I believe this shows researches and the dashboard does not, which is quite annoying. But here we have the eagle from Tato. Looks like Melkor's going to try and lure in these deer. He's not going to chase that down. That's actually really nice. Every time you have a forage bush next to some deer, that's a really nice bonus for you. Uh, meanwhile, I'm looking at the deer for Tato. I haven't actually found them yet. Uh, and obviously they're not close because I haven't spotted them. I'm going to bring the deer right into the TC actually because the TC is quite close as well. And oh, the T90 logo is in the way. Uh, good point. So what I'm going to do is take that off. Uh, that's the wrong image. We're not missing too much here, guys. Uh, there we go. There we go. All right. So deer's coming in for Melkor. And Melkor... Could go scouts. He has a lot of options with Berbers. One thing about Berbers is in the Castle Age, they have cheaper knights. But they, they really don't usually invest into the uh, Cavalier upgrade too often, just considering they don't get Paladin. Well, there we go. I'm glad I could take that off for you guys. And I, I really don't realize it when I'm looking at my screen and just casting a game. But I expect Tatch is going to be clicking up shortly. He's actually sending two out to gold here? Nope, just... Like that was a mistake so he has one on gold so he might actually just choose to drush or of course go man at arms and while melkor is bringing in that other boar what a bit late if you ask me i mean he does have the deer so that probably explains it and i'm bringing that boar now and probably think about clicking up himself he always build a barracks as well we'll just have to see all right so it looks like morville just running out from tato and tato is famous for his forwards his tower rushes Especially over the past like four or five months, but he's sending four out to gold, which means he might be going for one range. He's probably going to cook up after this villager. And pretty interesting build, if you ask me, from Tato, considering he has four on gold already. He doesn't have much wood income. And ideally, if you're going with one range, you would definitely want to be going with the uh, extra wood here. If you look at his wood count, it's not great. And this is not pretty either. Of course, he didn't probably didn't want to spend for the mining camp, but he's sending villagers back to his TC. He's collected. Oh, I wonder if he's timed this out because he's probably looking for a certain amount of gold. I think he's at he was at 98. 
Is that gonna go? He's probably going for Man at Arms. Maybe gonna collect some more gold. I won't be surprised if he goes forward. It looks like Melkor actually sees what's going on here. And there are the forward villagers. So we have forward villagers with militia. And it looks like we can see the feudal times at the top. So you will see that Tata's a little bit ahead. But we'll get this walling here from Melkor. He's gonna wall this off. And that's exactly what you need to do against Man at Arms. Sending four to gold himself. The metagame's a lot different than standard AOC. Tato just sending those villagers forward now. And I'm going to actually take a look and see if he's on early stone. He is on early stone, and he's going to be going for the trush most likely. But if he doesn't get in here, that's going to be an issue for him. He will prop most likely tower and then batter his way in, but it's not going to be too fast. But still, I think the trush is just too strong. Uh, Melkor is going to need either some extra stone to, to combat the trushes on the left, the right, the center, or just get a tower up here. That way, Tato cannot come in that way and just delay Tato even more. But he's choosing not to do that. Looks like the barracks is just now coming up from Melkor, and that is really late. He's going to stonewall behind. Oh, man. Tato's going to be in any moment now. And he's going to probably put up another tower. Uh, doesn't look like two ranges now from Melkor, but he still doesn't have any military. But he's going to stonewall this and right towards his TC, and... We'll see what Tato chooses to do. Tato, of course, cannot build another tower and batter his way through the stone walls. So I, I don't know where he's going to go after that. Good response, actually, from Melkor. Maybe not as desperate as it seems. To oh, no! Do not do that! Oh, gosh! The gate's now open! And Tato's going to try and run in, or he should try and run in. He's actually running around this side. But you, you got to be kidding me! He just opened the gate! Oh, and Tato actually let it close. That would have been really clutch from Tato to just run right in. Pretty crazy stuff here. Archer's coming out now from Melkor. Obviously, he's going to be trying to combat the man-at-arms with that. And he can always send out the archers across to Tato's base. But Tato, uh, with his tower here in Village, he's going to attack the gate. And still, I ask the question, why has Melkor not gone with the tower at some point? I mean, looks like the stone wall will maybe go down here. He has to send the archers around. He can't actually build a tower until he collects more stone. But this is just really messy from Melkor. Making some interesting decisions, and so is Tato. He's just attacking the gate, and he's going to take it down. But the question is, how many archers is Melkor going to have around that time? And oh, he's going to go for another gate! That's so clutch! That is so clutch! He got another gate up. He might lose a villager or two, but that's just going to give him a little bit more time. Oh man, that was really clutch. He didn't actually lose a villager. Well done there from Melkor. And like I said, it doesn't look convincing, but... He's somehow holding on, but I mean, this is a this is a huge mess. He has five archers now, and that's going to be quite good for him. But still, Tato can walk in with the towers, and there there we go. Mateus is going to, uh, or Melkor, sorry, he's going to put up his own tower. That's exactly what he needed to do. And a lot of towers from Tato, and I think Tato is like, okay, I might not push in and do some damage, but even if I don't, I want to have towers in good positions against my enemy, but Tato's killed two archers. This man at arms are really strong. And it looks like a tower is up from Melkor now. Now man at arms will be cleaned up, most likely, but not before they pick off a villager. Are you kidding me? Very, very close. Oh, she's gonna go down. Unfortunate for Melkor that that one villager was bugged a little bit with the um with the the running, I guess. Um archers here, still no fletching from Melkor and you know he doesn't have the gold income at the moment just because this trush is happening and he has villagers there so he needs to hold this but at the same time he needs gold for archers meanwhile meanwhile Tato you know he hasn't been touched at home if you look at the vill count Tato's ahead also he doesn't have the idle time he's gonna stonewall himself now very interesting first game in this set it does look like Melkor has the advantage with the trush war here uh, trying to just balance out his economy a little bit, if that's even possible at this point, because he's uh, Stone Villagers over here. Stone Villagers over here. I don't think he's paying attention to that area. But that tower's going to go down now. I wonder if Tato's going to be doing something other than towers over the next few minutes. Well, one thing he's doing with his stone is walling up. And he has a decent wall here, I will say. But this gold, he's going to need probably another tower in the Castle Age. That gold is just atrocious. Uh, 
You can wall all you want, but if your forward gold is right next to the walls and your opponent's going archers, it's not going to be a pretty sight. But I'm paying attention to, like, the total resources, and it looks like Melkor... He's kind of struggling right now to balance his economy. Meanwhile, Tato seems to be more balanced for sure. I believe he has more farms. Of course, he has these villagers that were stonewalling. They're going to come back and help him out even more. But quite a good game. Tato still has two forward villagers. I'm not sure what he has planned with these. The four here collecting gold, but these guys are kind of running back maybe to safety. But Archer's coming across now. Fletching's still not in from Melkor. He built that blacksmith a long time ago. And archers are going to run down this way, and the archers still cannot range that wood line. However, they will be able to as crossbows. Still villagers from Tata. I'm really interested as to what he's going to do. He might be trying to... Oh! Woo, 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 woo! Wolf just killed that villager from Melkor, and that's going to be pretty interesting because Tata can run right in if he pleases. Uh... Of course, archers could come around and pick these villagers off, but I'm really interested as to what Tato has planned, and also if Melkor can see it. Um, it looks like he sees the wolf going crazy here. He's sending the villager out, yeah, he has to have realized by now, surely. And archers are coming back now, so Tato is probably going to have two dead villagers. But what you want to do in a situation like this is just send one villager, let her die, and then... Get into the corner with the other villager and maybe build ranges, which is what Tato has planned. He's not doing that, though. He's sending this villager away, and she's going to lead Melkor's vills or army right to her friend here. And <laughs> look at this. Melkor's like, no, you're not going to sneak a villager in here. I found you. Oh, that's funny. Tato's trying to sneak this guy in. and But he still has the chick up here, so it's very interesting when these sneak villagers happen. If I were Tato, just let this guy die. Let him die. Both players clicked up to the castle age by now. Look at the total vill count. Tato is ahead, but he has had a lot of idle time. And there you go. I think Melkor is going to spot them now. <laughs> but well done from Melkor. Well done from Tato. That was pretty fun. And also give credit to the wolf because he did well uh, getting a nice kill. But that vill is a goner for sure. Uh, I assume Melkor is going to go after that villager now. And let's focus on other things. Uh, taking a look at the resources for Melkor, he will be able to get a castle up if he wants. I don't think he'll be going with the Berber's Unique Unit. That just does not make any sense here. Meanwhile, Tato, I'm doing the Archery Range hotkey. He does not have that up, and he could go for a castle as well if he wanted. But again, the Unique Units from these civs probably not going to be seen. And I'm trying to pay attention to what they will do. I think we're, we're going to get a castle here from Melkor. He needs to be he needs to be safe, and he needs to protect that gold with more than just a tower. Also, it'll it'll push Tato away. Uh, take a quick look. He's actually up now, and there's the castle right in that area. I'm getting the researches in. He will be going crossbow, I assume. But what will Tato do? He only has one barracks, so I don't think eagles is a possibility. Going for university. I wonder if he's tempted to fast imp this one. Going with the forward siege workshop, so maybe not the case. But the early university with the early university made me think potentially the fast imp. But he could be going for tower techs as well. And if he gets tower techs, it's going to be more difficult for Melkor to push this away. And look at that. We have the genitars out. I see a Maganel. From Tato, but I don't think it's going to save this area, really. I could be wrong. But still no crossbow upgrade from Melkor, and his resources are not the greatest, but he is putting a lot of his food onto his town centers now. Still waiting to see what Tato's going to do, and I do not recall seeing any upgrades on the towers. The Maganel's here. Nice split from Melkor. He needs to stop these towers from going up. Tato's known for this. But what is Tato accomplishing? Because I, I just I just don't think he's accomplishing much. He puts towers up here okay. And Tate's not really using his ranges. And we'll see. Um trying to figure out what you guys are talking about. Stats on the units. Are you talking about the upgrades? I really have no clue what you're referring to, but I'll try and 
try and look at it. Guard Tower's now in from Tato. Kind of expected. Also, he has 7 plus 6 on his Guard Towers now. And the Maganel going to push these units away for now. So Tato's going to continue to be able to build towers. I'll remind you guys that the overlay and the dashboard are buggy with African Kingdom. So I don't know if there's much I can do if something isn't showing up. You want me to remove the Enter the Sahara? So... What? You can see what player's point of view I'm on? Maganel's here from Tato. He's continuing to push in. I'm on Tato's point of view as far as the resources right now goes. And... Units are coming across now from Melkor. He's probably going to try and target that gold. But Tato only has two on gold. He's not really concerned doing anything else. Guard Tower's now in from Melkor. Just playing it safe. As he has that tower up there. Can't see which unit is selected. Ah, good point, good point. Tell you what, we'll just take that off right now. And, um, there you go. We'll just continue on. You guys know what it is. So, three Maganels here from Tato. I, he'd have to go through the TC to do anything. It looks like, oh my gosh. While well, I was taking that image off. One, two, three, four, five units down for Melkor? Might be paying attention to something else. Look at the Vil count now. Melkor's actually ahead. But more towers from Tato. And... If anything, he's keeping Melkor pinned in his own base, but with that, Melkor's probably going to boom up a little bit. But the thing is, is African Kingdoms is pretty OP. Like, all these sips are pretty OP. And the tower technologies are just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, they can take out capped rams if there's enough of them in the Imperial Age and have full upgrades. So, we'll, we'll take a look here and see what the play is from Tato, who... Not building any towers on this left-hand side, but how nice would it be if you just put a tower here? Lay that wood line. Go over now to Melkor's point of view. Sending some military unit camel archers, actually, because now Tato's in, and I don't know if... I just don't know if Melkor can hold. We'll have to see that. Melkor Maganel's almost down. He really needs another tower here to be safe, I think. But Tato is being aggressive with three Maganels. He also has that monastery there from the forward villagers. But certainly, I think the better economy is in Melkor's favor. Atatis had a lot of forward villagers. Both players kind of have had messy economies. But, like Skywalker says, Atta loves his towers. 7 plus 6 on these towers. Small hill for Melkor, which is going to be helpful. But, taking a look now. Atta's safe at home. He's booming up. He's catching up in the vill count. He has a total of 3 town centers. If you look at Melkor, he's still on two, and that could swing the economy back into Tato's favor. Now, Tato's... It doesn't look like he's really concerned with pushing it all that much. He doesn't have any crossbows or, or even eagles he could go with. But keep in mind, if he keeps this open for a long period of time and can get the eagle upgrades, he can run on in, in the Imperial Age. Looks like he's collecting a relic now, which is great. I don't know why cam archers are being created from- Oh my gosh! Petards! Petards! I'm so glad I caught these. Uh, I was like, I don't know why camel archers are being created from Melkor, but you know what? He's gonna just bust down these walls, and he's gonna run in 7 plus 2 on these units. This is gonna be really interesting to see, because if you look at Tato's map, he doesn't have anything back here. He's been with Maganels on the front, but this is gonna be really nice. Melkor is running in. Shortly, and I'm gonna go to Tata's point of view to see what he can see and how he reacts to this. The walls are busted down, and this little man's gonna run in and try and blow something else up. Uh, Tato needs to react to this. Meanwhile, it looks like he's repairing a tower here. He's Maganel's not doing anything there. Melkor's doing a fantastic job, and look at this. He's killed two villagers already, three villagers, and he's probably gonna kill that one as well. Uh, actually, I'm lying. He didn't even touch that one. Uh, but, oh, Melkor, don't run into the town center! Oh, you don't want to do that. That's never ideal. Looks like towers from Tato in response on that gold. Is he going to be able to get this up? It's a, about 60% now. Always committing to it with more villagers, and it looks like he will. Um, but very nice play from Melkor. Murder hole's coming in now from Tato. Imperial Age upgrade is already on the way for Melkor. Very interesting. It looks like these camel archers... Are gonna run into wood lines now, but they can pick off some more villagers on the farms and just missing that one. So, push coming in now from Tato. It seems as though he's been pushing this entire time with rams. He's probably gonna get that tower down, and 
it, it may be close, but Melkor needs to still stop this, I think, because three Maganels could be very damaging to him. Goes this tower up. That ram probably going to continue to do damage. But I don't know what Tato's plan is now as he needs the Imperial Age upgrade. He has yet to deal with the Camel Archers, which still could be annoying. And it looks like he still has that Siege Workshop there. Very good job from Melkor, just to hold off. I will say that. He's now stonewalling here, but this is a really good job. He's picked up one ram. The three Maganels are not really doing anything to him. I assume both players will go for keeps at some point. It looks like one Maganel could be focused down here. Um, I'm not sure. It looks like that tower is actually firing upon the other tower. It looks like the Maganel. And this isn't too convincing from Melkor. Now, I thought he was going to be able to hold. He has his own Maganel, which he really needs to depend on the attack round from Tato. Good shot from Melkor. He could really turn this around if he can get one more Maganel. Oh, and the attack round from Tato is so clutch. That tower will go up from Tato for sure. He has the Maganel. He can stop Melkor's... Still, I'm watching units run in and raiding Tato. It looks like he's rewalled that. But very close. It looks like the Maganel now does go down to the Camel Archers. Will Melkor's tower stay up if it goes up? Oh, man. This is so close. The villagers, they're so exposed. Looks like the tower's up now. But, I mean, the villas can't repair underneath this tower from Tato. They're going to die. Melkor's just holding on. Treadmill Crane's now coming in from Tato, probably to build more towers. And I'm just waiting to see what the play is from Melkor. Go to his point of view and try and figure things out. He has no ranges, no barracks. Each workshop, he is creating a treb. But the treb's going to be so slow in taking these towers down. I feel like the ram approach is better. Melkor's just really been, been pushed. And oh, that trebuchet. I don't know about that one. We could see some Maganels come from Tato to pick it off. But he's still pushing in with these rams. Still has camel archers here as well. And out here, I think he's really not done much with the camel archers the last couple minutes. More rams from Tato, and this is really the approach you need to do in this situation. Obviously, Melkor is going for primarily uh, ours, so you want to take them down before the upgrades come in. And as I say, that bracer and keep coming in for Tato. Only guard tower for Melkor. Now, the towers are purely defensive for Melkor as well. So we're going to have keeps now on the front from Tato, and he's just going to try and cause problems. Look at that. Another tower there in range of this wood line. It really is not great as far as map control for, for Melkor. I thought he could do a lot more damage with the with the intrusion of the camel archers. Maganel there, I think he will take these units out if Tato does not run away. But um, still is not looking too great for him. I think Tato has a lot more planned. And the towers going to do a magnificent job in dealing with villagers, dealing out damage to the economy of Melkor, who's now at 70 villagers versus 100. And it was never pretty from Tata, was it? But he's so far ahead now. Camel Archer is actually coming back from Melkor. Maybe stop more villagers building the tower, but oh, he's going to receive a huge shot here. And the wolf just killed the Cav Archer. I mean, not the Cav Archer, the Camel Archer, sorry. Oh man, he's just killed one. He's gonna go after that other one there. If Dave was here, I'm sure he'd control group it. And another tower from Tato here as well. He's just towers everywhere. It's doing a fantastic job. It looks like the wolf has gone down. But I really, without keep, without the map control, 37 villagers down. I'm not sure how Melkor can can stop the towers. Uh, he has the trebs there. They're deploying on this area, but there's nothing really important here. He needs wood. And also he needs to... He needs to fix the idle time that he's having. Look at this. Two towers actually from Tato. He's going to take that down for sure. We saw this before from Tato against Spring where he went with an obnoxious amount of towers and basically just delayed the economy. That's pretty much what he's doing here. More towers here from... Well, actually, it's an outpost from Melkor. But he needs to probably secure this in some way. Look at the military count from Melkor, and it's eight. Obviously, Tato's going for mainly towers and ramps, but somehow Melkor has to combat this. Lots of capped rams here from Tato now. He's going to go right for the towers and then probably going to run in and build his own towers again. I just don't see a way back from Melkor unless he gets some type of military to combat the rams, but the issue is if he's fighting rams underneath Tato's towers, they're just going to go down. Very, very interesting. 
Here we go. Captram's for sure going to get in, and I'm expecting, I'm going to go to Tata's point of view, him to have a lot of stone. He does have a lot of stone. He's going to go for more towers. There's a castle up now from Melkor, and a Siege Workshop's probably going to make a Maganel, and it would be quite nice for him, actually, to wall in that Maganel in this small area. But Siege Ram's now on the way from Tato, about to be completed. Another tower going up. I don't think it'll stop that castle, but the Maganel could kill a couple of villagers, and the castle could go right down if there's not a walled-in Maganel from Melkor. And this might be the GG fight. We have a Maganel here. Oh, man. I was going to say, if there was a little bit of support from Tato, he might be able to take this castle down. But Melkor's response is, is pretty strong to just attack these rams. But the issue is, now Tato's over here building more keeps. And it looks like, I think the siege rams will go down. But still, just the idle time this is causing is well worth it. More towers coming up. Tato is full map control. The tower's on the, the right side, the middle. And siege rams actually coming in and picked off a couple trebs as well. Oh man, well done from Tato. That castle, is it gonna go down? Look how close this is. I think it will stay up now, but... Very, very close. The build difference is obnoxious still. And Tato's buying some resources. He's still just going with a lot of rams. He's running into this castle now. Again, he has no support for his siege rams, so he could lose these to villagers. But as you can see, it's dealing out a lot of damage to the, to the castle, sorry. And also to the trebs. But Melkor's been in a position for a long time where he just doesn't know what to do. Like, how can I push this back? There's so many towers, I can't go underneath the towers. That castle's gone down. This insane push from Tato. And it's pretty amazing that he's just gone with rams and towers and maganels this entire game. But it's working out for him. That castle could go down from Melkor. I mean, I'm kind of waiting for Tato to send forward some trebs, build a castle. I mean, that would be the ideal now that he's losing so many rams. Not that he's not doing a good job, but if he had a castle and just had trebs underneath the towers here, there's nothing Melkor can do. But talking about what Melkor is doing, I don't know what his plan is. Camel ar elite camel archers now. I don't think they're the answer to win this game. Tato just is in such a better position, but it looks like Melkor is now paying attention to the left-hand side. Which, of course, is a crucial area for him. Extra gold, extra farming space, woodline then as well. But he's going to lose this area. He's now putting up his own guard tower. Will Tato get that up? I think it's going to be close. Uh, the rams coming in, and finally the Maganel's behind this castle. This is going to be really nice for him to kill those rams. He did not have that earlier. Now the danger for Tato is if he gives Melkor time to balance his economy up again, it's not going to be pretty. If you look at Tato's vill count, 156. This is not, though this is an HD expansion, this is not 300 pop like you'll often see. This is 200 pop, and he doesn't have much room or military. I, I don't think the, the siege rams are going to do much here. Melkor repairs this and the Maganels are behind. But Tato's just building keeps behind the siege rams because he knows the castle will attack those siege rams on the way in. But I think the castle's going to stay up. The towers are there. And this is a very interesting approach from Tato because the towers could actually range the Maganels and the repair villagers. I didn't think about that at the time, but surely Tato did, and this is pretty clutch if this works out. Look at this, the repair villagers going down to the tower, Tato's gonna do it! How brilliant is that? I've never seen that before, so brilliant. I think the castle will go down, oh man, oh man, this is close. There we go, it's gone down now. And what a play, you you really have to be kidding me, I was, I was not expecting that. There's the GG, but we just have to admire the thinking from Tato, he's like, okay. I've committed to towers. I've committed to siege rams. So I'm not going to do anything else. What I need to do is just put some towers up here to range the repair villagers and it'll work. Like, how do you think of that? Honestly, who builds towers beneath the castle? That was clutch. That was clutch. That was a very good game, though. If you look, of course, um, the petard bust from Melkor, you have to respect that. You have to admire that, that attempt. But he really didn't do anything offensively besides that. Tato, just oh, so strong, man. So strong. Uh, but let's take a quick look at the achievements. That was really exciting. That was a really exciting game. Uh, it looks like 86 units killed for Tato. Did a great job. Uh, his economy was set up so well behind that. Melkor not having the map control really hurt him. And you can see that there with the resources collected. Technology stats I don't think are too important except maybe the research is here. And the Vilcount was ridiculous from Tato as well. All right. So let's get in 
two game two.